Tell somebody God is not man. Say it again. Say God is not man. I want to teach a series under the partakers of divine nature. This tonight will be very simple. Ayo, very simple. I will try to bring ABCs. You know, teaching also is a grace. If you have the teaching grace, you have it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. You struggle. So I will try to bring it down ABCs about the nature of God. Don't forget the series we're doing is partakers of divine nature. Our text is from 2 Peter chapter 1 verse number 4. The topic tonight is God is not man. Let me tell you this in Bible school. But let me tell you what we do in homiletics. In homiletics, we explain to people different aspects of hermeneutics or preparing sermons. Now, a theme is a series you're doing. You can have multiple topics in a theme and you can have different texts for those topics. Now, some people will use the text of the theme for their topics. Some don't. So, my own teaching style is I stick to my theme which is a series. Could be two week series, could be six week series. But there'll be different topics under that series. Now, tonight's topic is different from the last time I preached there. I taught here two weeks ago. It was a different thing. So, different topics. God is not man. He's still under the theme, partakers of divine nature. What am I trying to do? Trying to tell you there is God's nature, there is man's nature. Do you get it now? So I say, God is not man. The theme is the what? Partakers of divine nature. But for you to understand divine nature, let's even explain to you that God divine is not man, you. So I'm going to take my, 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 our text for that theme is Second Peter chapter 1, verse number 4. Can you please let me project it? Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these, you, 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 you might be partakers of divine nature. Now that's strong. That simply means that you are not yet partakers. The word might means the aim of these promises is that you might become partakers of divine nature. For you to know that that was what Peter had in mind, he now said, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. So that means he's talking to those who have escaped the corruption, meaning you are saved, you are born again. So now Peter is saying, now you are saved, now you are born again, but you have not, or you are not fully partaking of divine nature. So in this saved state, there are some promises of God given to you that will help you to become partakers of divine nature. Does that make sense? I'm saved today. How do you mean? Having escaped, having escaped the corruption. That means I'm no more in the world. I've left that place. I am here, but I'm going here. That's what he says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. He says, now we are sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know we are no more there. So you see now, we are now sons of God. It does not appear what we shall be. Saying there is still a place we are looking up to. Or a being. Or a change of our culture and our nature. But we have left that place. We are here now. We are going there. Does that make sense? We have escaped corruption. We are saved. But we are still yearning to partake of divine nature. So that divine nature is the ultimate divine nature that we will be when we get to heaven. However, we are trying to study the divine nature. Because I cannot have divine nature except I have divine seed. For every nature is hidden in its seed. Every nature is hidden in seed. I watched a video recently of an animal called Liga. In Americans and the West, they try all kinds of things. Liga is a big, massive um, animal, a creature. They said they can only find ligers in zoos. You can't find ligers in the jungle. Why? They actually ensure that a lion slept with a tiger. So the baby of a lion and a tiger is called Liger. I saw it. 450 pounds animal. You could see that it could roar like a lion, but it had the facial elements and structure of a tiger. So they now created what they call Liger. So the seed of the lion in the tiger produced a Liger. Now you've seen, if you are a dog lover, like I'm a dog lover, you see different kinds and different breeds of dogs. We have also the cross breed. The cross breed. You find a dog that is probably this one. Another one comes to sow a seed inside. So what you now see is a cross breed of that. So what happened is that God 
He's trying to cross bridge to Iron. So he plants divine seed. Are you with me? Into human heart. So what you now see is God man. So what God is doing with partakers of divine nature is to pick a particular seed, divine seed, for we are born again of incorruptible seed. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. He drops it into humanity. So when that seed drops in, so the product of the God seed in human heart becomes God man. So the man walking on earth becomes God. John chapter 10, he said, you are God. Verse 34, uh -uh, the scripture says, ye are God. How do you mean? He said, the scripture cannot be broken. God called you God out. Gave it dominion mandate. Is there, are you, I don't read your scriptures, ye are God's. And the next scripture, the next verse is more, more troubling. And the scripture cannot be broken. Very simple. The scripture cannot be broken. That's what he said. How do you become God's? Very simple. Those that receive him to them, he gave power to become sons of God. So the people walking on earth are not just normal people, for we are with the manifestations of the sons of God. Those who carry divine seed in their spirit. I'm going to teach you how that works tonight. There is human spirit, there is God's spirit, there is Satan as a spirit. Because that's the problem. God, man, and Satan are all spirit beings. So when you understand divine nature, you need to understand satanic nature. You also understand man's nature. So you have man's nature, you have satanic nature, you have God's nature. We're partakers of divine nature. So that's how we're supposed to be partaking that, not this one. And it's supposed to be gradual, progressive. Our salvation is now, but we are progressively changing as we get closer to heaven, as we walk closer to God, something begins to happen within us. I will begin to develop our metamorphosis. A different us shows up. A different you shows up. People start seeing not the old you, which we call the old man. They see the new man. But the new man is not absent of the old man. The old man is still there. The new man is there, but it's because of the seed that God puts within you that brings out the new man. So in Numbers 20, Three verse 19. You see Balaam telling Balak, listen, God is not man. Balak told him to prophesy and to curse Israel. See this, this I tried a couple of times. The only thing I can say in life is anything and, and everything that God puts in my mouth. I will not say what God has not told me. So God told him to tell Balak, God is not man. I saw that scripture many years ago. It shook my heart. God is not man. God is not man. So you need to study man, you need to study God. God is not man. I don't want to go into what he said later. That he should lie. That simply means man will lie. God will not lie. So let me say it again. God is not man to lie. Man is not God to be truthful. God is not man to lie. Man is not God to be truthful. Man at his best is deceitful. The heart of man is desperately wicked. Man without God. So, so many times, eh, so later, you see, man without God, we call this man godless. Less of God. So, this church is supposed to be what? Godly people. Our vision is what? Raising what? Godly people. Man with God. Am I communicating? So, there is Satan out there. There is man in here. There is God out there. These three creatures have their nature. Man, the nature of man without God, without the devil, exists. Man exists without both. Without God, you are what? Man is what? Godless. Godless. But man lives in what? Me? The world. I'm going somewhere. Man lives what? In the world. The devil, God, wants to influence man there's a battle for the control of who the devil God want to control man man is supposed to submit I hear people say but if God is God he should force us to no 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 he didn't create robots he created man to willingly Make a choice. Willingly love him. Willingly hate him. Willingly fight him. 
willingly detest him, willingly denounce him, willingly embrace him, willingly come to him. Will come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy. It's your choice. Stop blaming him when you make a mistake. It's your choice. Man, God, Satan. Satan's nature is found in John chapter 4, verse, John chapter 8, verse 44. He's a murderer. He's a liar. When he tells lies, he speaks of his own nature. I taught you that many years ago. I expounded it from the living, living Bible. You see, you are the father of the devil. You have your father, the devil. So the devil has children. You see, I, he was speaking to the religious folk. And he said, you are of your father, the devil. I don't, I don't think you guys read the Bible. You, 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 you don't get it. These are religious people. Religious people. Those that manage the temple. And Jesus looked at them. Said, your father is not Abraham. They were debating. Abraham is our father. He said, no. Biologically, you are Abraham's children. Biologically. Like we have in Israel, in Syria. In their fighting. Biologically, you are Abraham's children. Spiritually, you are the children of who? The devil. Oh, Jesus. You don't get it. They were speaking about biological birth. We are connected to Abraham. Christ spoke spiritual language. You are of your father who? The devil. Yes. You are getting it. That spirit, the devil, is controlling them. You know, I told you, the devil is here. God is there. Both of them are trying to control man. Man shh, 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 can be without either. Oh, you are not listening to me. Man, I'm angry. You know, man can choose. I'm not with you. I'm not with you. Listen, listen. When man, listen. I told somebody in Abuja, I said, in the beginning, God created man to be in his own image. In the last days, man is creating God to be like him. Today, we serve and worship us. They even told Aaron, make us gods to go like us. Man has always been trying to create God or make God out of themselves. That's why you have in Roman culture, in Christian culture, the human people that do were heroes are what worshipped are gods. They do start churches. Even the Catholic Church, they have the statue of Peter or this. Are you saints? They call it beatification of saints. Oh, today you don't get it. God in the beginning created man to be like him. Man in the last days is creating himself to be God. I don't want him. I will create my own God for me. You're getting it. In many ways, secular humanism, in many ways, they are saying, don't go to church. You are your own God. You don't need the God of the church. Can we create God out of us? Last day, last day's gods. <laughs> are you with me? But tonight, I want to emphasize the three. I'm not even going to my note. Man, God, Satan. So you have to, in your head, you have to picture those three. Man under God's influence is called spiritual. Spiritual, spiritual. It's called pneumaticus. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. Pneumaticus, pneumaticus. Pneuma means spirit. So the spirit is controlling this man. So when the Holy Ghost Toby controls a man, as many as are led by, but watch me, this one, Ayo. but man without God is called psychicus. That word natural man is psychicus. It means the psyche is ruling his own life with mind. The natural man, that word natural is psychicus. The natural, natural man receives not things of the spirit. So there can be a natural man, watch me tonight, who is not diabolical. Man under the influence of who? The devil is what? God bless you. Evil. Raised to power too. Because man without the devil is evil. Genesis 6, verse 5, 6, 7. Genesis 6, give it to me. Man without satanic influence. 
God says his heart is evil continually. God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And this wickedness has nothing to do with and here. And every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. This was before the flood. After the flood, things did not change. Genesis chapter 8, God still said, I think that's the few verses, verse 18, 19, 20. God said, ah, I will no more destroy the world with flood, for his heart is evil continually. <laughs> so, so, it's not working. It's not working. Before the flood, evil. I did flood. God said, yeah, come, come. These people, they can't change. Even after the flood, God said, no more flood. Because the man from youth, his heart is evil continually. He had seen that this thing will not change, it won't work. <laughs> so, do you get it? so you see the work of the church. They said the church, the church annoys me. First, first of all, the church is from his youth. The Lord smelt his sweet savour, and cause I will no more cause the ground for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Ah, ah. Not from childhood, because children are innocent. Youth are not. Youth is defined by our consciousness. Today's youth is age 8. Our own youth was age 15. Because 12, 13 year old children were bathing in nakedness in outside. Today, a 7, 8 year old person cannot be bathed outside. They know what is nakedness. For, can you imagine? <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> youth is not defined. Lawrence is looking at me like, it's true. Am I not saying, is there? So, you see why I get angry, Lawrence? Let me tell you why I get angry with church members. Let me tell you why I'm angry. Look at me. Look at me today. This is why I get angry with pastors. Why I get angry? Watch me. God, Satan, man. Man, without God, without Satan, Lord should love money. Why are you pastors still preaching to me money? I don't need a message to love money. Because naturally, you don't get it. The nature of man without God or a preacher is the what? Why do you not complicate matter? Without your message, I will love money. Why are you not telling me to love money? You are killing me. So, just like without the help of God or Satan, man will love woman. Sex is the nature of man. Man is a dog. That's why we come to the pulpit to preach to say, kill the flesh, crucify the flesh, don't do it. The same way we come to say, don't do it. Why don't you say, don't do it for money too? Because the man preaching is also under the influence of a flesh, not God. You can't... <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence is saying my body turn. <laughs> I don't have a return. So, so it's not, it can be, that man cannot be under the influence of the Holy Ghost. So man, God, Satan, the nature of man is found in Genesis 6. Nature of man, this man, without God. You know, we're talking about partakers of divine nature. Let's first understand man's nature because that's the problem. The nature of this man Without God, without the devil, he loves things that you don't believe it. Galatians chapter 5 is there. Verse 19. Give me Galatians 5, 19. You see the nature of man. Without God, without Satan. The nature of man. Now the works of the flesh, man, is manifest. Meaning you can't hide it. Which are these? Adultery, man. Fornication, man. Uncleanness, man. Passiveness, man. Continue. Adelatry. Man. Witchcraft. Man. Hatred. Man. Variance. Man. Emulations. Man. Wrath. Man. Strife. Man. That is man. No. Without what? And uh, God. That's who we are. That's why it says the spirit is fighting against the flesh. So Christians, those of us that are saved, are those that have escaped the corruption. Now trying to strive to embrace and wear divine nature. Divine nature, can you tell me, is different from satanic nature. The devil is a liar. The devil is a murderer. The Bible says when he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own nature. 
In fact, the living translation says, it speaks his native language. The living Bible. It says native language. There's no way I can learn Igbo and speak it as good as a Igbo man, native that grew up in the village. Native language, native dialect. Except modern day Igbo people in Lagos, they are making mistakes in their Igbo language. Because as many modern day Yoruba people, I'm of Yoruba people that are modern day. When I speak Yoruba, they say I'm not speaking Konk Yoruba. Because if you go to the village, you hear Konk Yoruba. Original. <laughs> Original. You get my point? Native language. Meaning the devil doesn't. So how did he get it? It was a spirit. When he fell, he corrupted his beauty, his wisdom. Ezekiel 28. So at that state, Satan became a different, the nature became different. Not his spirit nature, but his purpose nature. He's now going after God and anything that is godly. He now goes after it. So God is not man. So I'm not going to teach more about the devil tonight. I want to teach more about between God and man. The difference that we can then embrace divine nature. God is a spirit. And I'll take questions. His nature is good. Satan is a spirit. His nature is evil. John chapter 8 verse 22, 44. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. The God of this world. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15. So the devil. Now man, watch me. Is living in this world. So the devil is running the world system. The devil is running the world system. Like a system. Bible calls him the prince of this world. Bible calls him the God of this world. Several times Jesus called him the prince in several passages. The prince of this world cometh to me, John 16, and then found nothing. So he spoke about the prince of this world, looking for a fault in him. That's how Jesus called him. So you have to understand that John 14, 30, John 12, 31. So in this world, you and I are now here. We're now saved. So without God, we become worldly. Now our nature is to be worldly. We call that worldliness. First John chapter 5, 2, 2 verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because those things that are in the world are against God. Lust of the flesh, pride of life, lust of the eyes, they are against God. God is not in control. He's in control. He can change anything. But he has allowed the devil to run the world. Jesus came. He took it from him. But he has so many ways he's running the world. He has placed people. The devil has placed people in the highest heights of the most influential places. What we call the seven uh, 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 areas of influence. Seven mountains. In entertainment, he's running the place through the likes of you. I won't mention their name. You know them. All those people you follow every day. You know, you just follow them. Without you know, you're following them. A person is Trips herself naked and put a naked in on Instagram. He has 35 million followers. Does that, make, does that make sense? You, you push scripture in uh, the place. You, you don't get them views. You even beg to follow. They refuse to follow scripture. <laughs> so the man, the devil is running the system of this world. Do you get it? So what God is now trying to do is to say, I will have my own people. You are in the world. So Jesus prayed in John 17, I do not ask that you take them from the world, but deliver them from the evil one in the world. John 17. Don't take them out, but while they are in the world, deliver them. So they will not be contaminated. They will not be corrupted. They will still be there, succeeding, living, exercising dominion. So the church needs to understand that. So the church should not teach man without God. The church should teach more of God with man. Should be teaching more. That's revival. God, may you influence my life. May you dominate my thoughts. May you take charge and guide my ways. But if we just live a life without his influence, you are simply at best man without God. I didn't say without church. You can go to church and still be without God. You are godless Christian. Godless church goer. And that's why our message is to push God influencing us. God dictating our steps. God changing our thoughts and our minds. God, God, because not the devil of course, but more of God pump. God into our system. Pump God. We should serve God. We have a vision on Friday with a few. Some say I will not come. Why? I want to sleep. That is man. 
God is man. Without God. The Holy Ghost will not tell you don't go. If you want to know who's running you, there's some things the Holy Ghost will not tell you don't go. I can tell you. He said, my spirit, John chapter 6, we no longer strive with man. I'm telling man what to do. Man is saying, no, I want flesh. I want convenience. That's why man is struggling to sacrifice. We hardly sacrifice for God. That's man without God. It can be man in church. That's why John said that he may increase while I decrease. Less of me, more of him in my life. That's what it means to be a Christian. As many as are led by him, by him, by him. We have more of us led by us. 90% of our decisions are influenced by us. Natural man. Natural man. The Greek word is simple. Natural man. First Corinthians chapter 2. Is psychicos. Psyche, verse 14. It tells you the man psychicos. Psychicos. Spiritual man, pneumaticos. So my prayer is God make me pneumaticos, not psychicos. Psychicos is speaking about your psyche, your mind, you rationalize everything you do. That's psychicos is not diabolicos, it's not satanic, but it's not spiritual. Do you get the difference? Because I'm not saying you are satanic. I'm simply saying you're not spiritual. And people try to struggle with that. But that's the truth. That's the truth. The truth is bitter. The truth is bitter. The natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit. It's not possible. So imagine how many things God wants to do for us. And that verse, that verse, that verse, that verse, that verse is coming from verse number nine. Give me verse number 9, 10, 11, 12. Give me verse 9. It is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Yes, it doesn't enter the heart of man. The things which God, the things of the Spirit. Verse 14, the things that God wants to give to you. You can't receive it because you're natural. Verse 9, which God has revealed to them to by His Spirit. What things? The things that God has prepared for I love him. He has a lot more. But he has revealed them to us, the prophets, by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yea, the secret things of God. Toby, you don't have an idea. My plans for you. I have prepared them for you. I'm already thinking how to lift you up, how to bless you, how to give you promotion. But you don't know. You make your decisions in your flesh, not with the help of the Holy Ghost that I gave to you. The Holy Ghost is your companion, your friend. He's guiding you. Follow him. Say, no, no, no. I want to go on my own thing. Yea, you are missing out. Because you don't know. So if you go to the next verse, go to the next verse. He now says, what man knows the things of man? Save the spirit of man. What man knows the things of God? Save the, oh, oh, but the spirit of God. Next verse. But now, Titi, we have received not the spirit of the world. This is nothing worldly spirit. But the spirit of the Lord. That we might what? That I what? You don't, it's grace. Freely. That we might know the things that are freely given to us. What things? Which things? I speak to you, not in the words of man, which what man's wisdom teach you. It's not biology, it's not science, it's not that, but the things which the Holy Ghost teaches. Comparing spiritual blessings with spiritual, but the natural man you cannot get it. Because they are foolishness to him. So you see how many things we have missed out. Because our actions, natural, carnal. When God is planning to bless, you are rationalizing the steps. And you make a decision. I'm not going to that conference. I'm tired. You have no clue. Because the way he thinks, it's the way we think. Isaiah 55. Verse 8, 9, 10. My thoughts are not your thoughts. 
my ways are not your ways. If you want to get his ways, get his thoughts. His thoughts comes before his ways. Very simple. As the heavens are higher than the earth, he said the thoughts always comes before his ways. If you can think like him, you will stay on his path and his way. You'll be shocked the benefits that are loaded and hidden waiting for us. Waiting for us. For his own style, his ways, his methods are different from ours. His methods, his strategy is different from ours. The way we think is different from the way he thinks. So the ways, his own ways are different from our ways. Our own ways is that a young man gets 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 sent to school by his parents, leaves school at 21, 22, goes to self 23, finds a wife to marry at 25, 26, starts giving birth, gets a job, and then grows. That's not his ways. Sometimes he might delay your school till 29. Why? He knows what he's doing. He might delay your marriage at 35. Why? He knows what he's doing. He has a different plan for you. He has different plans for everybody on earth. You can't say no, my name. No, no, he has a different plan for you. Different plan for you. Different plan for you. Stop thinking like everybody. God does not generalize. Man does. So that's why people make decisions based on generalization. They say, at this age, I should be here. <gasps> he does not think like that. <laughs> you are thinking as a man. At this time, I should be like this. At this age, I should have bought my car. You are thinking like a man. You may buy your first car at 40, but you buy 20 more cars after that. Those that buy the first car 25 may not even enjoy it until you are saved 70. His own ways. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Simple scripture. As I have to My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. We don't think like you are natural. I'm spiritual. You are man. I am God. God is not man. Put your hands together, everybody. Stop thinking God is man. Stop thinking God is man. Stop thinking God is man. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that. God is not man. God is not man. God is not man. Hear the voice of God tonight. God is not man. God is not man. Stop. Don't put him into your own box. He's bigger than you, higher than you, mightier than you. His thoughts are different from your thoughts. His ways are from your ways. His nature different from our nature. God is truthful. I wrote 12 natures of God here. I can't even go through it. I wrote, I spoke about truth. Covenant keeping God. God can never hold any man. God keeps his covenants. I wish I could teach on a covenant keeping God. That was Yahweh. He's actually covenant keeping. Every covenant he makes with man, he keeps it. So if you want to be partakers of divine nature, you've got to be a covenant keeping person. You see how many Christians are no more faithful? The Bible says God abides faithful. If we deny him, he abides faithful. That's the nature of God. God cannot lie. Titus chapter 1 verse 2. A very mind-troubling scripture. God cannot lie. No, God will not. Cannot. Eh? Eh? I've, I've meditated on this scripture several times. I can say, how? Cannot. I'm telling you the nature of God. Divine nature. God cannot lie. God, no God will not lie. You will not lie. You can lie. It's not in his DNA. God bless you. It's not in his DNA. A lion cannot fly. You can do your laughed. Because it's not in your it's in their DNA. So also God cannot lie. God abides faithful. God keeps his word. You can count on him. That's why it says in Psalm 15, who shall abide on the tabernacle? He was trying to say, let me tell you about this God. In Psalm 15, verse 1 to 5, he was trying to explain to us that, let me tell you God's nature. In that place, he now outlined God's nature. He, wanted, he said, I'm going to abide in the tabernacle. Let me tell you about him. He wanted to stay in his holy hill. This is God. If you don't know him, next verse. 
the God I'm talking about, this is his nature. He that walketh uprightly, God is upright. Walketh righteousness. See, do not go and set up your own righteousness. That's the most dangerous one. Romans chapter 10. The Bible says, they, in verse 3, could not understand God's righteousness. They now went to set up their own righteousness. Romans 10 verse 3, 4, 5. About Israel. They, there is righteousness of God. There is self-righteousness. You see, they've been ignorant of God's righteousness. Going about violent to establish their own. This is the most dangerous one. This is what we call moralists. The now start setting a set of rules. The now say, this makes you righteous. And many people don't smoke, don't drink. And say, that is our own righteousness. They exactly. They create sets of rules. They let us go and establish our own righteousness because you are ignorant of God's righteousness ignorant and God is righteous God is faithful I had 12 things God is true God is righteous God is faithful I, I like that faithfulness I mean I could talk faithfulness in Psalm 15 it says he that swears to his own heart and does not change this, this is the nature of God that's what it means to be faithful to keep your word. You swear like Jephthah to your own heart and you still keep that word. You keep that word. Psalm 15 verse 4. You swear to say I will pay you by seven days and you do everything you work and do to pay them. If you have to go and sell, you said to pay them and change it not. Because our God does not change. Our God is consistent. Our God is, we can count on him. Our God is reliable. Our God is faithful. Our God is holy. Our God has divine power. Divine power. Divine holiness. Divine life. Divine faith. God's kind of faith. Divine righteousness. Divine love. Agape. These are the nature. This is divine nature. The things I'm saying, that's divine nature. That's God. And that's what we're supposed to embrace. Divine love. God's love is still your own love. We, you are, do you know God's love is different from our own love. Agape. It's super. It's not what we are doing now. <laughs> Divine peace. Wow. That's why people don't understand why his mofos are healthy. It's peace of God. John 14 verse 27. Not, not the world. Though. Not as the world giveth. The peace of God. Philippians 4 says that passeth all understanding. People cannot understand it. In the storm you are sleeping. In the storm you are sleeping. Only Jesus could sleep in the storm. You know what the storm is? The boat is moving down and you are snoring. Do you not care? Say, no, don't worry. This is the peace. You don't understand it. Give me John 14, 27 so they can see it. John 14, 27. My peace I give to you. Not as the world giveth. There's a, world, a different kind of peace. So let not your heart be troubled. Cardiac arrest. Let, you cannot be. You cannot have heart attack if you have God's peace. It's not possible. Holy Ghost. You can't have blood pressure. Go and quote me anywhere. God's peace. Because what cardia is what heart. Cardia. K A R D I A. That's the heart. Let not your heart be troubled. That what trouble means. It can be. It can be pressured. Yeah, pressure. If you have my peace, people will be walking. Ah, bro, uncle, we have round rent to pay. It's not complacency. We have God's peace. Worst case scenario, I will leave that house. I will leave one room. I'll be okay. If you want to go and jump in lagoon because I'm in one room, that's your business. There's lagoon there for you to go and jump. If I can start in one room, mm, Allah in here. We look like Allah. I'm sleeping. I'm at peace. I'm not measuring myself with yourself. We are different. I'm not comparing myself with you. You are not comparing yourself with me. If you say I'm not successful, that's your business. I'm okay the way I am. I sleep at night. I wake up in the morning. I pray. I lift my voice to heaven. I drink my garden with joy. Why are you angry? I'm drinking Gary. Is it your Gary? I'm a Gary. Is it your Gary? I'm drinking my Gary. Are you angry? Look at you. Look at you. Yes, it's my Gary. Is it your Gary? <laughs> Put your hands together, everybody. Is it your Gary? It's my Gary. Are you angry? Let me alone. I have some granite. I have some sugar. Are you are upset? Why are you upset with my garden and sugar? <laughs> and I'm drinking it with joy. I'm listening to worship music. The music is blasting my phone. 
And I'm saying hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh Lord my Savior. Early in the morning. Hallelujah. And the devil is hungry. I can't take the praise from this man's tongue. Praise God in the highest. <laughs>